Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Now, a little bit different this week. If you're like me and you like Formula One, I hope you like this map. And if you don't like Formula One, well, I hope you enjoy it anyway. Um, this is a map I've just looking around to see some of the more obscure maps on uh, on GeoGuessr and lo and behold there is an F1 2021 a map of every 2021 F1 circuit uh, I, it's got a thousand plus locations I mean there's there's not that many races right so I'm not quite sure how this is going to work I haven't played it before let's uh, let's give it a go we'll do we'll do two minutes around moving panning and zooming is allowed and let's see how we go. Okay, so straight off the boat, I see this is a Chinese flag here. Oh, but that is perhaps a, oh, okay. Well, I also see an Ireland flag here. Um, are we on the track? That's pretty cool, actually. I think we are on the track. This, I think, is going to be uh, Sochi in Russia. But the issue here is that I don't know where, um, yeah. Yeah, I think this is Sochi in Russia. Um, I don't necessarily know where Sochi is. Uh, where is Sochi? I have no idea. Is it near Moscow somewhere? Sochi, was it? Wasn't the Olympics on in Sochi? So the Winter Olympics? I think they were on in Sochi. Um, yeah. No idea where in Russia this is. That is the problem. There's our Russian flag over here confirming. Um, Sochi, maybe it's near St. Petersburg. Well, look, let, let's let's drop in Moscow just to be safe and see what happens. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it is by the coast. I remember now. Wasn't, um, look at that, that's way down there. That's pretty cool. Um, it was the Olympics. There were, yeah, it definitely was there. It wasn't the Winter Olympics. Uh, no, they no, they remember that. Um, this is kind of um, this is a kind of a cool track. Is there somebody running here? The Valtteri Bottas, you know Valtteri Bottas, the F1 driver. He 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 runs like all of the tracks. Um, before before uh, race day, interestingly enough, some water here. This might be. Canada, uh, Parc Jean Drapeau, yeah, uh, yeah, Circus Gilles Villeneuve, yeah, it is Canada. <laughs> where, where is? Um, side note: This was my favorite track um, in like Formula One '98 when I would play it on the um, on the N64. But uh, anyway. Um, I guess it's in Quebec somewhere. Uh, I, I don't know where it is though. Jacques Villeneuve um, Stadium. I'm just dropping a pin there. I don't really even know where I would. Well, hold on. We did see a bit of a cityscape to our um, northwest there, didn't we? So perhaps it's down this side somewhere. Just now I'm thinking about it. Uh, there was some water as well nearby. Could we have been? Um, by this river maybe. I don't know. We're only seven seconds to go. Let's let's leave it there. We could be near Quebec City, of course, as well. But okay, not too far. Twenty-five kilometers, and uh, oh wow, that's like 
right there. That's that's pretty cool. I had no idea it was on this little uh, kind of little island. What an amazing place for a uh, a Formula One track. It's got to be on the bucket list now. I think that's awesome. Very nice. All right, let's move on. Okay, so the picture's taking a nice Singtel. I wonder, is that Singapore? I know there are certain Grand Prix where, where they actually take place at night. Yeah, Singapore. Because, uh, well, I guess temperature is one thing, and then the other thing was probably the audience, right? Um, I think it's more of a European audience, although I, it's definitely growing in Asia now. But So, okay, Singapore is not that big. If I was a racetrack in Singapore, where would I be? Phew, absolutely no idea. It's got to be... Do you think it's on here? I think it's like labeled anywhere. It's got to be... Um, kind of like... Like I don't think it's central. Do you think? I, I, uh, it could be actually, you know. Let's just drop one here. Um, a lot of golf courses within a very small um, area of each other. I don't know where it would be otherwise. I'm just randomly dropping a pin here. It's not going to be there. Um, hmm. Tricky one. Very tricky one. I don't want to kind of go too far out. Uh, let's just go here and see what happens. 11 kilometers. It was very central again. Jeez, that's nuts. Marina Bay Street Circuit. Sure enough, it's right on the bay. I guess they shut down um, some of these streets to race on. For race weekend which is actually savage um let's go again uh casino casino montreal how very formula one of them to have a casino at a formula one track <laughs> it's classic well look if this is casino montreal we're at the jacques villeneuve um stadium again where we were earlier now that we've been there let's see if we can find it again uh, it was on this cool island here. Circuit uh, Gilles Villeneuve. Sorry, Gilles Villeneuve. Jacques Villeneuve was the son who was a race car driver in the 2000s, right? 90s, 2000s. Anyway, um, there's the casino, the Montreal. Look at this. We're right here. So let me just drop a pin here. Let me go back to the start real quick. Um, I would say we're like right here because this circle actually would correlate to this, wouldn't it? So maybe we're here. Let's go with that. Seven meters and 5,000 points. Nice one. And then this is our last one. And of course, this is maybe the most famous Formula One track in the world. Uh, this is Monaco. And yeah, we, I mean, it's Monaco. We, we don't need to go any further. Super yacht insurance, of course. Oh. And, and jet insurance, only in Monaco. Um, are they advertising yacht and jet insurance on the billboard instead of, I don't know, uh, regular car insurance? Anyway, that's that, that very, very tight hairpin, which I think is actually up here and have a quick look at it this is the slowest corner in all of formula one um this one right here i don't know i forget what its name is but this is the slowest corner in the entire formula one calendar and of course interestingly about monaco is this is open this, this is just a regular street right it's not um it's not a full-time racetrack it's a it's a regular street um all day, every day, except race weekend. With that said, let's 
not mess around anymore. Nice, I'm going to. Where's where did Monaco go? Right here. Now uh I think the, yeah it comes up here I'm just following the track here in my head the track comes out this way definitely curves around where is this hairpin um this looks right you come up here on a go where is this hairpin Oh, better drop a pin quick. 206 meters. Okay, where was I? Uh, oh, right here. Okay. So this is the Avenue de Spelluge. Spelluge. Okay, so there you go. That is the... Ah, oh, yeah. So the track comes up this way. Goes down around the hairpin. And yeah. We were just there. Nice. All right, let's take a look at the summary. You know, not bad for the first time out. The Sochi one completely um, screwed us over because I had no idea where Sochi was. Um, but the rest, yeah, you know, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, one, where's, am I missing one? One, three, four, five. Where was round two? Am I... What is going on? Oh, we had Montreal twice, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay, two and four. All right, never mind. Thought I was uh, losing it there. Um, good game. Fun game. And I will definitely be trying this one uh, again. Until next time, happy pin dropping.